Drawing a Trend Line, Lesson 14.2a. When a scatter plot shows a linear association, we can use a line to model the relationship between the variables. A trend line is a straight line that comes closest to the points on a scatter plot. Now remember, association describes how sets of data are related. If it's a positive association, x and y increase together. If it's a negative association, x increases while y decreases. If there's no association, there's no relationship between x and y. They're scattered all over the place. We don't see a line here as we do for the positive association or the negative association. To draw a trend line, we plot points on a coordinate plane. Then we use a straight edge to draw a line that has about the same number of points above it and below it. If you have an odd number of points, just try to make it go through the center of those points. So you might have four below the line and three above the line or vice versa. And we ignore any outliers. If we have a point way out here that's not going with the rest of the data, we just ignore it. That would be considered an outlier. We draw our line through the points, doing our best to have about the same number of points above and below the line. We do not include any outliers that are far from the other data points. So here we have an outlier. We're going to ignore it and draw our line through the middle cluster of points here. And we may end up drawing the line through some points, or we may not. If all the data points are close to the line, it means the data show a strong linear association. From this trend line, we can predict that seven items purchased will leave about two dollars of money, or that eight items purchased will leave about one dollar of money. We can see the trend of what's happening. If we have plotted data points that show no linear association, we won't be able to make a reasonable prediction of a trend. We should easily see a linear association. A negative trend line isn't a bad thing. A negative trend line refers to the downward slope of the line. That's all. Trend lines help us predict future sales, future population numbers, and many other possible outcomes. And trend lines may also be called lines of fit. Trend lines can also be used to estimate data on a graph. And the line doesn't need to pass through any points on the graph, just have about the same number of points above and below it. We're finished with the first part, 14.2a. We're moving to the second part, finding the equation of a trend line. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I hope you join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.